Okay, so today I went shopping. So I'm gonna finish my dreads. I got some hair. It's bright pink. I got a bandana just because I like those. I got a headband for my dread falls. So right now I'm, I have my headband, scissors, needle and thread, and hair. So what I have to do is decide how I want my fringes to be. I'm going to measure up. I'm doing this without a mirror. I'm going to measure from here to about there. And I'm going to cut. Now I'm going to want a few layers of this. So I'm just going to cut a few, probably about three. Okay, so I have my, I actually need four pieces. That's four layers. So this is going to be the left side. This is going to be the right side. Alright, so, I got the thread. Now what you want to do is turn the headband inside out. Because there's a seam. I don't know if you can see it. There's a seam there. There's a seam down the middle that shows on both sides. That's the back. Now what you want to do is sew, turn it inside out, and then sew on the first layer. Because it's got two layers so that you can't see it. So then, hold on, I gotta mark my spot. You might want to put it on and figure out where you want them to start first. Okay, what I did was I marked it with my finger and then I used the needle to mark it. So that's where I'm going to start sewing. So then lay it flat. Take one of your layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this with the spot on the needle because then that's where I'm going to start sewing. And then basically what you're going to do is just sew along your weft. I'm going to sew all four. But I might just do them one layer at a time to make it easier. You only have to do it in a few spots. You can see the black thread. Here I did one thing and then I did the other ones. So I kind of gave it some slack for stretching purposes. So when you're done, you'll get the headband with the fringes. sticking out like so.